Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, so I had to come out and get rest of the peaches off the tree. So I figured while I was out here, um, I would just make a video. So those of you that are friends with me on Facebook, you know that about a month ago, this thing was so loaded down with peaches that most of these branches were literally, even these up here was, I mean, they're almost to the ground. And we had a storm go through and it split this tree. You can see it split this tree right down the center. And this side of the tree that fell was just completely loaded. Um, and I was pretty upset because, you know, last year, last year was the first year we really got peaches and it was only a few dozen. Um, and then this year, we had two hard freezes late and I just kind of figured I wouldn't get, and get any peaches at that point from it this year. And then it ends up just getting loaded and then a storm comes through and, and takes it down. But I had a lot of people tell me just leave the peaches lay and let them ripen. So I figured I'd just let the whole branch lay back here, clean it up later. Well, the leaves never the leaves never started dying off. And this thing was on the ground for for weeks. And a buddy of mine came down one day last week and we got talking about it. So we're like, well, still getting enough nutrients to keep this side alive. So he propped it up and we rednecked it back together. Now, I don't know if that's gonna hold anything. Don't know if it'll end up repairing itself. So today, I put this stake out and I'm gonna try to get a lot more of the weight over here because uh, the whole the whole thing's leaning that way and it, it did that naturally um, even before it broke it just kind of leaned that way so I'm gonna get another strap strap it off to here and I'm gonna put some garden hose around it so this I don't worry about the straps actually cutting into the branches and we'll just see what happens and then the storm the storm took the small peach tree down and I got digging around down at the base because it's the same thing. I mean, it's it's starting to wilt a little bit. Um, but it's it's kind of broke right there, but it's quite a, the majority of it is still attached. So I'm going to try doing the same thing. I'm just going to try to stake this one up uh, best I can and just see what happens. Um, I really ain't got nothing to lose at this point especially with the big peach tree um if it doesn't work it doesn't work but i think it's worth a shot just to see what happens so that's what my plan is i'm gonna i'm gonna start getting this stuff tied up and then i'm gonna finish picking those peaches Now I did make sure I left this loose enough that the tree can still move around so it's not cutting into it. Um, like I say, I am no means an expert when it comes to, to trees and especially repairing them. So if you have a better idea, let me know in the comments and we'll try it out because I don't want to lose these peach trees. All right, I can't get it any tighter than what it is. So. Like I say, if anybody has a better idea, feel free to give it to me. Pretty tight. It's a lot of strain on that pole. I drove it down farther. I'm gonna get some more of these peaches off here. That will that will take a little bit of weight off, but not a whole lot. Then I may end up pruning some of those that stick way out. That way, 
if it does go back together there won't be so much weight coming off those top those top branches next summer but I already got a five gallon bucket down there and this will be this will be number nine nine five gallon buckets of peaches we got off this tree so far this year so that's that's pretty good for a tree that I, I really thought was that was done you know beginning of the season when we got those um, early frost or late frost and I don't know if you have those in there if you I don't know if you have uh, fruit trees if I ordered these off Amazon um, I'll try to put the link I've never put a link in any of my videos but I'll try to get the link for those I mean this is the second one I put out it's amazing how many of those moths you catch that do damage to to your fruit trees but if I can figure out how to do it I'll put a link in um, the description of of that those through Amazon so I'm gonna get these picked and see if we can fill up another bucket Man, I love it when A-10s fly over. I can never get the camera out fast enough, though. By the time you hear them, by, by the time you find them, they're just about past. All right, so I've only got three more to get. I'll move the ladder and get those. But this will make nine five-gallon buckets that we got off this one tree this year. Man, that makes me happy because, like I say, I did not expect to get any off this tree because um, of the late frost. And then when it ended up getting broke, man, I was just so discouraged. Uh -uh, but, man, it's nine buckets makes me happy. We sold a bunch of them in the last three or four days sitting out by the road. Um, my mom took some. She's making peach jam with it. She's actually coming down to get some more peaches. She said it worked out so well she wants to make some more. So she's going to come down and get some more of these. Uh, we're going to try canning for the first time. We've never canned before, so we're going to try to can some. We're going to freeze some and uh, see how that goes. Um, and that will be it. As far as the peaches go this year um, this peach tree is five years old this year it took four years to start producing um, that you know what this I think that's his third year and it had one peach on it it got one peach this year but it got either knocked off by a critter or or from a storm early in the summer um, that one that's actually only this is gonna be its second year I had another tree planted there and it got broke. Um, so then I got that one there and it got, first of all, the, the rabbits got to it when it was real young and just about chewed it in half. And it came back from that and then the, the storm that split this tree uh, blew that one down. So we'll see if that one can make it or not. But if not, we'll plant another one. My, I would like to be able to plant peach trees all the way back. So I like to be able to get another, I don't know, three or four of them at some point. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I'll uh, see you guys on the next one. And please be sure if you know anything about fixing these trees, if this is, if this is going to work, if you have a better way, shoot me a message, leave me a comment. I appreciate it.